I would like to show you today how to operate the measuring device PC RVI3. The viscometer is delivered in a transport case and consists of the viscometer itself, four alkaline batteries, installation material, a screwdriver and allen key, as well as a protection for the rotation bodies and a set of rotation bodies. The set consists of six rotation bodies, five of them are in the shape of discs and one is in cylindrical shape. Optionally, a further rotation body is available, which can cover the lower measuring area. Let's come to the construction. The protection cage consists of two pieces, a lid and a base. With the help of threaded rods, they are screwed together. Now the lid of the protection cage is screwed on. Here is to watch that the groove of the lid shows upwards. Because later the viscosimeter is attached here. I'll put the lid on now. Whereby I put the screws into the threaded rods and tighten them up. I do this three times with each rod. Subsequently, I can tighten them up with the screwdriver. Now the protection cage is built up properly. Depending on what viscosity, I choose a corresponding rotation body. I would like to show you now how to attach these to the viscosity meter. For this I take the viscosity meter and put it onto this mount. And fix from underneath the rotation body by screwing it to the rotation part. For this I turn the rotation body against the clock. To secure the viscosity meter onto the protection cage, it would be mounted on it. And with the help of the three-sided Allen screws, and with the help of the Allen key screwed on. Now the viscosity meter is fessed with the stand fixed and is ready to use. The measuring device has on the top an operating panel and a display to show the measured value. The operating panel consists of only three keys and it is easy to use. To turn the device on, the enter key is held for about 10 seconds. Then the measuring device boots up. And the measuring area is shown. What can I see? At the top I can see the revolutions per minute. The PC RVI3 is available in two models. One in the model 20 revolutions per minute and one with 60 revolutions per minute. Underneath the revolutions per minute I can see the measured viscosity. Here it is at naught because the measuring device is not working at the moment. Here at the top the number of the spindle is given. This can be set by using the arrow keys. We have for example chosen a spindle number 2 and by using the arrow keys I can choose spindle number 2. By pushing the enter key it is confirmed. And the measuring device is now ready to use. Doing a measurement, you need about 500 milliliter probe, a 1 liter be beaker, a high beaker with the right volume, and a viscosity meter. 
I fill now around 300-350 milliliter into the beaker. And then put the viscosity meter into the beaker. Here is to observe that the filled amount covers the groove of the rotation body. By activating the enter key the measurement is started. First of all the rotation spindle starts to turn until a constant revolution is achieved. Here it is 60 revolutions per minute. And subsequently the measured result is shown in mini pascals. With the attached rotation body number 2, fluids with a viscosity of up to 660 millipascal can be tested. Our measurement result has given 367 pascal millisecunds. That is the equivalent of 55% of the measuring area. Both values are shown in a display. The viscosity meter PC RVI3 is available in two models. One in the model VP20 with a rotation speed of 20 revolutions per minute and as model VP60 with 60 revolutions per minute. With the model VP20 can viscosities in the area of 200 to 200,000 millipascal a second be measured. With the model VP60 there can viscosities be measured from 60 to 60,000 millipascal a second. So can viscosities from oils to sugar concentrates to lacquers be covered.